What is up guys and girls of World of Warcraft, Proteus here, bringing you a little gold making strategy in the Shadow Labs. Shadow Labs is one of four dungeons found south of Shatrath City in the Ring of Observant Observance. Uh, Shadow Labs is the one found directly south of all the other four dungeons. And this is a very good place to uh, get gold. It is very, it's very profitable I should say. Uh, there's a few things you want to really try to get in this dungeon. Uh, one of the big things is, or are the fell armaments, which go in the auction house between usually about 75 to 150 gold, depending on your server. And you get a lot of greens and a bunch of other rep making materials or rep gaining materials. All right, here just looting everything. Uh, there's a few rooms in here that you can usually do one at a time. What you want to do is take your time for this dungeon. Uh, most of these mobs stun and heal each other, so that's one thing to, to really be careful about. Uh, for your first time running through this, I suggest that you expect to die, because you probably will if you pull too much. Uh, you just want to take your time and just watch out for the stuns, and they have, most mobs have uh, the mortal strike, which how it used to be at 50% healing reduction, which is a real pain. Alright, here we are, pulling through this entire hallway. Right here, what you gotta do first is just aggro this first boss, or second boss, I should say, and he just pulls the entire room. I like to just blow all my cooldowns on him, and uh, just pulls the entire room, kill him before all the other mobs get to you. And here, just AoE everything down. Like I said, you gotta make sure everything is... or you gotta make sure you gotta be careful with the stuns. Uh, before I started this, I sent most of my gold to an alt, just so I can get a flat and even 20k just to show you uh, how much how much gold you can actually make from this alright just getting all these cabal, cabal guys alright this pole actually begins in the hallway a little earlier but uh, I decided to just cut that out because it wasn't really that entertaining alright just pull up here once you attack this guy he'll probably he'll uh, not probably he'll just uh, call all the other mobs in that hallway too I just blow my cooldowns on him again just to uh, not have to fight the boss plus all those other ads Alright, and here's the final hallway with Murmur. Alright, what you can just do to him is just quickly just run up to him. What I like to do is just use my Feral Leap and charge into him. Usually able to kill him before all the other mobs get to you. Right here for this part, most, or not most of these mobs, uh, a few of these mobs can open a portal and they'll actually summon other monsters. Uh, you should try to kill those guys first, or else they're just going to constantly, constantly spawn more and more, uh, one after another. Alright, like I said, the things you want to really look for in here are the Mark of Sargeras, Fell Ornaments, and Greens. And if you're into transmog gear, there's a few things in here too, like that cool spear, a cool looking shield, and that main handed mace. Alright, right here, I repair my gear, and I use my Auto Profit X add on to sell all my gray items. And I just sell all the Soulbound gear and the food and potions, because those don't really sell well in the auction house. Alright, we got 660 gold from the fell ornaments, 200 gold from the greens, and 118 gold looted from the mobs, which gives us a grand total of 978 gold for a 12 minute run through Heroic Shadow Labs. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to me for future videos similar to this one. Peace out guys.